Thank you, everyone. Um, I don't know what I'm doing here today. I trust you guys have paid at the door. I don't, I don't know what uh, the format is there. <laughs> but really, guys, uh, uh, today is just going to be an informal process of introducing you to the world of coding. Um, we're going to de deal with uh, a program called Scratch. And maybe what I should do is to share my screen with you so that um, you, I can take you into that process and then say, listen, we need to, uh, I trust that my screen is being shared, it's showing it is. Um, it's we're going, short. Thank you. We're going to be going into a program uh, next week called Tinkercad, where we're going to, I'm not going to let you play in this area. If you want to go and play and be, create different things, it's all open source, it's online. We can go and create different shapes and have some fun. But we're going to get to the section on circuits where we're going to have a look at the possibility of what they call Arduino circuits um, so that you can then control what happens. You go and code what happens. In other words, if you look at the code there, you, for those of you who understand a bit of uh, um, scratch coding, there's the code which, if I run the simulator, it then controls the lights that get switched on. So there's the green light. And after a period of while, that one goes off in orange and then goes to red and then back to green. So that is the journey that we're going to be going on. All right, that's the journey that we're gonna go on. And what I'd like to point out to you is the scratch it is, comes from MIT, Massachusetts Institute of Technology. And this is a, an online version of the program that I'm gonna use. So if you don't want to download it, if you have got the data that's available to you, and you can then go to um, the website. Uh, I'm not sure, yes, I think I can possibly pop this into the chat uh, so that you can then um, have a look at this in your own time as well. They are popped it onto the chat. So it is available. And if you, I, I'm taking it specifically so that you can see what's going on. Um, yeah, are various examples of what other people have posted, right? I'm not going to go into them just yet, but if you click on the one right at the top, which says create, right? That is, so you can work online. Now, bear in mind, uh, it's already been said today that you have got, it's going to use data, right? So if you're working online, bear in mind that you're going to be using data. So there's another version that's available. What you can do is you can go to search for Scratch, uh, my spelling is not that great. Scratch 3.0 uh, and say download. Right. I'm showing you this, how to do it, so that if you want to, you can go, and it's open source. And open source means that you don't own it, but you've got a license to use it freely, right? So you've got a license to use it freely. So you can click on there and you can then go to the download and follow the instructions because there's one for, for Windows, there's one for Android, and there's also one for iOS. Oh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned that, the, um, the Android one. You can also go to the Google Play Store. Now, you will then download a version called Scratch Junior, and the same principles will apply. So you, we're going to have a look at it from a number of different platforms. I'm going to leave you to then work out which one you would like to use. I'm going to work in the um, Scratch desktop environment. So I've already downloaded, I've installed it, and we're going to then start looking at it. So there's a cat. If I talk about a cat, um, please, uh, I'm supposed to call it a sprite, but I'm, not, I'm often going to refer to it as the cat. So please, that's the cat. In other words, this area that I'm talking about on the right hand side is the stage, right? So that's the stage. Now, you're going to be the director of this movie. You are in control of what happens to that cat. I repeat, you want to be in total control as to what happens to the cat. So I see there's some sun shining through. I can't get up and close that curtain. So if you see a few funny lines across my face, please don't laugh too much. That's fine. I'm used to it. Uh, I'm tempted to put my video off, but often people say I must leave it on. So I'm going to try and ignore myself as usual. So let's just understand the little bit else of what's going on in the screen. All right, you've got coding blocks down the left-hand side, and you've got motion, you've got looks, you've got sound, you've got events, you've got control, you've got sensing, 
operators, variables, and my blocks. And then there's one down the bottom over here called add extensions. I may get to it just now. So just to give you an idea of what I'm gonna to do today is I'm going to, I'm gonna build a story with you. And I want to try and, oh, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm very aware uh, in terms of teachers and please teachers, I, you have to accept um, I do things a little bit differently. I'm not by the book, right? I don't teach by the book, I don't lecture by the book either. But what I'm trying to do is to get you to understand the processes that are involved, right? The processes. And I'm, this is just a, the start of a journey, right? It's just the start of a journey where I'm hoping that I can interest you in what's going on so that you can then carry on from there. Right, so if we take, for argument's sake, the section on um, events, no, it's not events, you said there it is. That's what I was looking for. There's a green flag over here and there's a green flag. Oh, maybe those two are connected. So this middle area is the script, right? Where you're going to build your program. So let's drag that across to the middle, right? Oh, you weren't watching. You want to get rid of that? I don't like it, let me throw it away. So I drop it into that area and it disappears. Previous versions, if I'm saying this, if you do get hold of an earlier version, they had a little rubbish bin at the bottom here, which you would then be able to drag and the, the rubbish bin would lift up and you drop it in the rubbish bin closed, just so that you are aware of it, some of the differences. All right, I know some of you are visually challenged like me, sorry, not visually, chronologically challenged, so I can make it bigger. My apologies for, for that. Uh, no, I don't make any apologies for that. So let's have a look. We've got the, so if I click on that, that's the click button that I'm going to be using. Now I'm thinking, I want to, this cat, I can click and move it. That's one way to move it, but that's boring. I don't want to have to move the cat around the screen, but I want to be able to manage what happens to that cat. So let's have a look. We want to get involved and do something about motion, movement, motion, you think of moving. So we click on moving. And let's just give you a time to, to take in all of these. I'm not going to go through all of these. There's so many things that you can do. For argument's sake, uh, we want to move 10 steps. We can turn 15 degrees. We can turn, oh, hang on, what are the, what's the difference between those two? One's turn clockwise, and the other one is anti-clockwise. Right? So uh, we can also go to a random position. We can also look at that, the or mouse pointer. We can go to a specific XY coordinate. XY coordinate, hey, that's interesting. Anyway, glide, we can glide and take so much time, point in the direction. So there's a whole lot of things there. So let's start off by introducing to the basic principles of programming. So there's the one, I'm, I need to join those two. And I'm, I'm looking there, it's got a little, man, this looks like a jigsaw puzzle. So if I drag that closer, notice as I bring it closer and closer, it shows a gray area. Right, so I, I'm clicking, I'm holding, I'm dragging. My apologies, my cat has got a bit of dementia and she calls every now and again. So she's just adding some side background effects. It's not this cat making the noise. All right, so click and drop, drop it there and I let go uh, and it makes a little snap, snapping noise. So I know that that is joined. And I can also go and click and drag and break it. I can separate it out. So that's the fundamental difference, or sorry, fundamental principles of working with Scratch. You go and build your program as blocks. I said build the program as blocks. What program? Oh, we've just built the program. That's the program that we, we built. Guys, I'm assuming that nobody has, that you've got no experience of, of Scratch coding, all right? I'm, I'm aware that there may be some of you guys that have worked with this before. My apologies. I'm assuming you've got no previous coding experience, right? So I'm doing the very fundamentals, but I will speed up a bit on certain issues again. So if we look at it, um, I'm not allowed to talk Afrikaans. I was going to say, Draki Knopi, or press the green button. And if you click, oh, what happened there? So I click on the green button. You see that the, something happened to the program and the cat moved, right? but it's only moving a little bit. Hmm. Right, how am I gonna make this cat move further? How can I make the cat move further? Because those are little steps. I want it to move big steps. I want it to move further. How can I do that? 
So I look around and I say, uh -uh, that says 10. So if I, you see me, I, I left click on there and it says 10. So I can change that to, let's make it 50. Part of, part of science is asking questions. Right? Asking questions. So um, my, my question I'm asking, an educated guess, a hypothesis if I'm really, if it, or for the, for the uh, science expo people, I'm, I'm trying to formulate the hypothesis. Um, the hypothesis is that if I change this number, which is referred to as a variable, if I change this number, the cat is then going to move further. It's going to take bigger steps. So I can either click on that one. Well, oh, it did move further. Or I can click on that one. And I prefer to click on the green flag at the top for a very good reason. And you'll discover that much later on. All right. So there's the cat. It's now moving. But here, oh, I've lost the cat. What have I done to my stupid cat? It's not in the room next door, guys. I, it's, it's here somewhere now. <laughs> Um, Andre, I don't know if I should ask for, for volunteers to get this cat back again. Uh, is there anybody who would like to help me? Because uh, I'm stuck now. Uh, please use, use the chat to, to provide some sort of uh, feedback or suggestions as to how I can get this back again, please. It says somebody to use the chat function, or are we going to allow people to unmute themselves? You can allow as long as they put their hand up, Dr. Ron. Are you going to control who, who <laughs> yeah. is doing it? Okay. okay. Benechle, Gaza. Benechle. So I think Dr. Mars uh, applied the program to send the cat for maybe 180 degrees because of the one which says 10, 15 degrees or something. Uh, so you've been looking at the at the program, yeah? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. I, 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 that's that's one possibility. I, I like your thinking. You're thinking differently, guys. In terms of this process, this is not. As I said, I'm, I do things differently. I'm encouraging you to think differently. I don't want I don't want people to learn from the book. I want people who can look at it and, and give me a problem, right? Uh, before we get this, I'm going to put that one there. I'll come back to it. Are there any other suggestions? Thank you for your for your suggestion. Is there, are there any other suggestions? Can you drag it? Somebody said, can I drag? Oh, yes, I can drag it. All right, so it is possible to drag the cat, to click on it and drag. Oh, I got it back. But then I, can, I end up the same problem every time. How, how can I solve that problem? Any suggestions as to how I can solve this problem? I'll give you a hint. I'll take you back to, I think it would be about grade three or four maybe, where you have to then start thinking about number lines. Hmm. How can we use the number line concept and to get that, what if we click on the tail showing, I used to have done that one. No, Lizzie, thank you for that. Is there anybody else who can help me get the cat back? Are oh, the cat stuck? Right? I want to program it, double click on the cat and drag it. Yes, we've done that one. What is the click on the cat to remove the movement? I oh, say so remove the movement and then try it. Uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah, there we go, Carl. I like what, what do you, Carl, can you unmute yourself and explain to me what you mean by minus? Right? Carl, are you there? Okay. Okay, uh, so we move minus 50 steps forward. So okay, explain to me, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not being clear at the moment. How do you, what do you mean by minus 50? So moving minus 50 steps forward is the same as moving 50 steps back. So we are you Afrikaans? Are you being Yanya? Which one? Are you? <laughs> no, no. No, listen, I, I like your thinking, all right? I like your thinking because, all right, I see there's a number of people coming up with different ideas, but let's see. So it's a variable. So you're formulating a hypothesis around the idea that if we move one way, that's forward. So that's a positive direction. So you want to uh, go in a negative direction. So I'm assuming positive is that way, negative is that way. I like it. So let's, let's, let, let me prove that that is correct. All right. So when I click on there, hello, okay, cat comes back. Oh, well done. Right, so we, that's uh, one way to do it. 
Uh, let me go through the, the suggestion. Oh, sorry, I must take that out. Uh, let's just try the other one. I, I put it there so I, I wouldn't forget it. Let's go to there. So I can then, add, oh, I can add another part of the program and I must make it turn, I must make it turn how many degrees? Huh? There's 108, sorry, 360 degrees in a circle. Why do you want to turn, turn, get around? No, no, I, there was a suggestion. I'm, I'm not excluding everybody's suggestions. I'm going to say 180 degrees. So let's turn it around and then move forward. Now it's stuck in that. You can't really see what's going on here. Let me pull the cat out. Uh, let, me, let me run it. So what's happening there is the cat is turning around, right? It's, it's not, guys, I'm not saying it was a wrong answer. I'm just saying it was a possibility, right? It's a possibility. Shiv, I saw you put 180 degrees there, which is great. Right, so... Uh, I sense that some of you have been working with uh, with Scratch before, or some of you may not have been working with Scratch. Now, let's get rid of this one over here. Okay. So, to try and make your life a little bit easier, I want to introduce you to a different part of the program, and that is the background. So, Sprite, I'm going to choose background. And you'll see why I want to choose a specific background in a moment. So I click on there, and you can choose anything. You can set your scene. You can put your own pictures in. The one I'm looking for is the one called the XY grid. There you can see. So I, you know, often I try and say to you, go to the center. Now at least you know that in terms of X, in terms of Y, when zero, zero is your center of your screen. Can I use that? Yes, I can. So I want to be able to, if we click on that one, there's that's the current you know, let's put it back in if i move the cat around you'll see the the uh, numbers change on yeah go to x and at the moment i want to say let's go to x naught y naught where do i want to put that where do i want to put that i want to put that there notice i can put things so that they slide in between so it pushes the one down and, uh, and the other one up and if I now click it, every time you run it, you wouldn't have seen it, but it actually goes back to zero. Let's put it over there. So you're working with absolute positions. Now, why do I want to do this? Hmm. All right, let's have a look. I, I, I'm going to start speeding up a little bit. I, I, I sense that you are understanding what's going on. Let me go back and show you what I did. I went to the bottom here. I'm clicking on add extensions, and I'm wanting this pen extension because I want to be able to I want to be able to put the pen down in other words you can't see where the cat has been I want to be able to draw on the screen so I'm going to then put a pen down so I'm going to use the pen down command right and I'm going to change that to 100 so let's try that you can't really see it there, but the, the blind wind, is, it's drawn a blue line there. Oh, that's difficult. So maybe we can change the set, pen size, set the size of the pen. I, I'm just, I'm verbalizing what I want to do. And in terms of the process, let me just pause there for a minute to say to you that coding, part of coding is about computational thinking. You must start to think like a computer. Because if you think like a computer, it means that you're able to then understand how computers work and able to put the information in so that you can get the results out. And I'm saying this to the expo people as well, because we need to then start formulating a strategy to be able to assess these types of projects. So I'm hoping something will come of it later on. So I'm going to set the size of the pen to, let's say, for example, to a three. But I'm just so that... You, you saw that size one there. If you look at that size, that, that blue line is a, is a one. Let's try it again. There you can see I've now increased the size. Right, so now I want to draw a square. So it must turn, I'm thinking, it must turn. It must move in the direction, move, move, move. Where is move? Move was in motion, right? So I'm gonna turn. Uh, I normally go down. Let's do something different today. I'm going to turn 
anti-clockwise, the opposite direction. So let me think about this. The cat, the start there, oh dear, uh, this is going to cause a problem, but anyway, um, I've made a mistake. Can I undo? I, I, you'll see where the problem is in a moment. Um, I just want to, I, you, uh, all right, I'm going to, no, what am I doing? You, you know, you are allowed to make mistakes as long as you know how to fix your mistakes. That's a key factor. Right, so what we're going to do now is I want to get the cat to move to there. And then I must turn 90 degrees and move to another 100 paces and then turn 90, 100 paces, turn right, 90, 100 paces, in fact, to the beginning. So when click set pen size to one, no, I don't want pen size to one, I want to make it go to three, go to naught, naught. So I'm now verbalizing what the program is telling me to do. Then let's put the pen down and move 100 steps. So after 100 steps, it must then turn by, well, how many degrees did I say it was? It must go to a 90 degree right angle. So it must go to 90 degrees. And if I click on there, whoo, what happened there? All right, I'll, uh, we, we've got a, Houston, we've got a problem. Uh, let's see if we can, uh, we, how can I clean that? I must, I must make, get rid of that. I don't want to see that. So what we're gonna have a look at is in the pen, there's an erase all. Right? So wherever we have problems, we have uh, solutions to fix those problems. I see that somebody's drawing on the screen. Please, can you stop drawing on the screen? I'd appreciate it. Uh, person monitoring that, can you do? Tend to it, please. So I'm going to use the command erase all. So let me just click it there. You see that it clears the screen, right? It clears the screen. So if we then put that right at the beginning, so when we clear there, oh man, what's happening to the cat? Because every time I run it now, it comes up in a different position. And this cat is being really silly. No, it's not being silly because we also need to set the, when it starts, right? So when I click on the start there, you'll see that the cat is facing that direction. So I must therefore go to my motion and I must set the point in the direction of, point in the direction of 90 degrees. So this is another thing that I must set. And yeah, you'll see that when we click on there, I can then manually adjust that in a visual way, right? In a visual way. So I want it to point that way. So when I click on it, so every time I run it now, it ends up being in exactly the same place and that's the key factor. So let's have a look. I want to now, I'm gonna start speeding up a bit. We're going to go to hundred, another hundred paces. So when I click on it, right? So it must then go to turn by 90 degrees. And we can then go to click on that. Oh, there's an interesting one. So it's picking up. I should have put, why did I put point in the direction of 90 degrees? Anyway, we can well, correct those just now. So let's just add, move forward 100 steps because I want to get to the next level. Uh, and let's run it again. And I've still got to put one more turn, uh, 90 degrees. Oh, this is getting too big, so I must make it a bit smaller. Turn by 90 degrees, and I must add 10, move by 100 steps a day. And then just for the last point, I need to then also say, um, point in the direction of 90 degrees, just so that end goal. I, I would I normally go through this process to try and and give problems and ask the students to solve the problems as we go. All right, so there we go. So if I run it now, every time I run it, it produces a square. All right. So if I look at it from that point of view and say, hang on. Hmm. It's just understand how this program works. 
point in the direction of 90, so it's going to face that way. It will clear everything because I've made a big mess. Set the pen size to three, go to naught naught. In other words, go to that point there, pin down, then move forward under, turn forward, turn forward, turn forward, turn forward. Turn forward. I'm, I'm, am I repeating myself? That's uh, it, it's a sign of being a, a lunatic. Right, so we can use the principle of a loop. And I'm doing this slowly so that you can see what I'm going to do. Those two steps, move and turn, is then repeated four times. Right? So move and turn is repeated four times. So I can throw that away. I don't need that. Okay, it's gone. So I go and have a look at the controls. Now, the loop that I'm looking for, there's the loop. Right? So I'm going to repeat it and I put it over those two, you can see how it moves over the, the two steps. Um, how many sides are there on, on this particular shape here? Can we use the chat to help me, please? Yeah. Right, come guys, tell me how, how many sides are there? Four. Thank you, Shiv. So four, but that's a square. So there are four sides in a square, okay? So I can repeat that four times. Let's put that together. So I'm assuming you understand the first part of the program. Until I get the pen down, then it says repeat four times. What is it going to repeat? It's going to remove, so not remove. It's going to move 100 steps, turn 90, and then it's going to restart again. 100 steps, 90, 100 steps, 90, 100 steps, 90. So 100 steps, turn 90, 100, turn 90, 100, turn 90, 100, turn 90, and then it faces that way again. So Try and understand, if you understand and have a better feeling for what is going on, then your program, you'll, you'll have a better idea of what the program is going to do. So if we then click on there, wow, that's going a bit too fast. I, I want to, I'm going to make it slow down, right? So, so that you can see what's going on. And there's a weight block. So I can put the weight block into the loop. So if I understand, it's going to go start the loop once, and when it gets to that point, it's going to wait for one second. Then it's going to go to that point, wait one second. So let's just try it. My hypothesis, my thinking is, let's go and test it. Let's wait for one second, wait one second, wait one second, wait one second, done. All right, so that one second, right, it's to slow it down. Uh, I'm not sure. Somebody's saying that Maxwell, you're saying that you can't see the cat. The video is blocking it. I'm not sure where the problem is there. I'm, I trust that everybody else can see. Yep. Right. So, can, so I think it might just get screen the way it's said. Right. Then the, the, the solution to that is uh, I, I lecture to over 800 students. They also complain of this. So what I'm suggesting then is that you are able to download the video afterwards. <laughs> and look at it that way all right so let's uh, start moving forward a bit again i'm going to take that one out um i don't i'm i'm understand i'm assuming that you appreciate what i did there in terms of the process i also want to i want to do we really want to see the cat so i can go to my looks command and i can then put these two commands here so that I can show and hide as I want them. So, no, I don't want to connect together. So I can click on hide or I can click on show. So hide will get rid of the cat or the sprite. There, I've said it uh, by mistake. The cat, show and hide. So you can put that into the program if you want to. Now I want to make a, a triangle. Hmm, can somebody help me please? I want to be able to make a triangle or draw a triangle. Can somebody unmute and give me some suggestions? But you need to, you need to give me the reasons why, not just do this, this, this. I want to understand the reasons, please. Can somebody help me? Uh, if, you can go, you, can you... if you go to the event and then you use the if statement, I think that could help. And then rotating it by 135. Hang on, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. What are you talking about 135? What's 135? We, 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 how do you get to 135? 
control. Oh, I, I think he means the um the one right there. The, yeah, the one you're on right now. I think he, the hundred steps. You see what the hundred steps is, right? I think is that it? one. That's it? A, yeah, that one. He had to move it ninety degrees, I think, or he had to make it ninety, I think, right? Okay, I'm not. I'm not. I'm gonna be rude and say I, I'm not gonna change the hundred steps. <laughs> it's not players. Fuck me, baby. <laughs> All right. So it's not the hundred steps. All right. Somebody's saying 60 degrees uh, equilateral triangle. Mm. All right, you want to change it by 60 degrees. All right, so anyway, we're not so fast. I'm trying to, to somebody says rotate by 135, Tyron and 60 degrees. Um, Asin, I, oh, let me go with yours. Uh, let me just see if that's the right one. Uh, so you want, I'm assuming you want to change that to 60 degrees. Okay, um, guys, I'll come back to what I said earlier about the science expos it's about trying something different and trying to predict the results right but you also know if you do make a mistake you know why. yo 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 that shit is wrong no 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 no, no. please uh, can we have normal etiquette you raise your hand and you'll be invited to unmute please oh wait right? no i'm trying to tell you the right shit bro like that shit is no, wrong. No, no, no 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 please as i said there is etiquette that we normally apply uh, and uh, Chris went through the rules to start. Please don't unmute yourself and show. Right, we've got a very big group here today, and we're talking about 100 students. Okay, so I, I saw this one. I'm thinking 100 steps, uh, 90 uh, degrees uh, twice, uh, whoa, whoa, and 45 whoa, 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 degrees whoa, whoa, whoa. and 120 steps. That's what no, I'm no, thinking. Guys, just listen to what Dr. Ron's saying. If you want to uh, make a suggestion, please just raise your hand, and then and Chris will then invite you, you, and you can then speak. All right. So I'm going with, at the moment, I said I'm going back to, somebody said 60 degrees. So I'm going to have a look at this, all right? Guys, I know for some of you it might be frustrating because you want to try something. So what I'm suggesting is that you then go and download the program and go play yourself, right? So if I try a 60 degrees, whoa, where'd they go to? Something has gone horribly wrong, right? Something's gone horribly wrong with that. And all, all of a sudden I'm thinking, hmm, We've got, how many degrees are there in a circle? Right, how many, type the answer in in the chat box, please. How many degrees in a circle? Right, uh, I'm not, I'm just uh, trying to see where this, no, nobody's come up, right. 360, right, thank you. 360 degrees, now, 360 degrees, and you've got, uh, there are three sides. So you then say 360 divided by three. Yes, you come back to 360 divided by three gives you 120. So let's change that to 120 and try that. Hello, problem solved, right? So that solved the problem. But I know that that is repeating. It's if, you, if I show, put the show, the cat is ending up there. So it's one extra line. And the reason for that is it's in the, Change that, and the cat will then be back to the beginning. All right. So we now, I'm going to start stepping up a bit. Uh, I'm just trying to see how much time I've got about 15 minutes. We now want to use the same program and make it a little bit more complex. And I'm now going to start saying, let me start using the variables, an input variable. So you're able to then ask the user, right? I'm going to use. Uh, wait a second so we can see the cat moving with the way oh, you wanted to, right okay I'm prepared to somebody follow the rules I'm happy to do that so we use a wait block wait for one second uh, let me go and run that again there we go so you can see it moving around okay so now I want to go to the sensing ask what is your name? So I'm gonna put that one right at the beginning. So I'm gonna insert that in there. Instead of saying, what is your name? I'm gonna say number of sides, right? And question mark. So let's have a look. You'll see also that if I click on the answer there, have a look what's gonna happen at this point. If I click on that tick, it puts the answer there for the input. So I click on that. Uh, let me just reduce my, my, my box there so we can all see. Um, so it's asking, let's say, for example, three. If I click on there, it shows me an answer three. All right, it's carrying on with a particular. Now, I can use that as a variable, as an input variable. 
right? So uh, can I can I say if I put the answer, if I put the answer, notice I'm dragging that variable and I'm going to drop it into the number three. Right. So my question is, my, my assumption is if I run that and I say I want six and I click on there, it says six, right? So this is going to re repeat six times. So it's going to draw three triangles. Mm -hmm. We're starting to get somewhere. Guys, we're getting somewhere. Can we now, how can I get it to control that? Because you've seen the number of turns. Let me just see if I can possibly make it a bit bigger for the chronologically challenged like me. Um, I want to be able to use that answer to in that calculation, right? That answer in that calculation. So what we want to do then is to look at what is referred to as the operators. Uh, yes, I'm very aware that this is, a lot of it is new to you or maybe new to you. So I'm going relatively quickly and I said it was just a, a quick overview. So if we now drag that one in and drop it into the turn, right? So we drop it in there. And I'm thinking, what did I say? How many degrees were there in a circle? How many degrees were there in a circle? If I refer back, somebody said, that is said 360, that's correct. Right, so if I then say 360, it must turn 360 degrees divided by, divided by the answer. Right, let me stop there. We know, so I'm asking how many sides, you must say the number of sides, and then it goes to all this place, it's going to zero, zero, pin down. So it must repeat, the number of times must be the answer. And then it must take 360 degrees, the number of degrees in a circle, divide that by the answer, and it then should draw the shape that you're looking for. And maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. We can go to, I'll, I'll be I'll be different, 120, right? And the what I, I'm trying to say to you guys, please experiment. I can give you recipes and a lot of you will then use the recipes and simply go through them, but it's, it's more important that you actually try something different. Right, so let's have a look. Uh, we then have a look and click on that. How many sides do you want? Hmm, let's choose one that we hadn't done before. Let's try five. Uh, if it's five sides, what is a five-sided shape called? What is a five-sided shape called? It's the same name as the Def Department of Defense in America. Five-sided, you get a triangle, you get a square. What's five? I see these answers coming through. Uh, let me scroll down quickly. Pentagon, Pentagon, yes, you guys, correct. So it's a Pentagon. So if I click on the Pentagon, so I say, my apologies, if I click on five, there it's going to draw a Pentagon. Now just be aware that if you start drawing too big, that it's going to go outside your area. So you've got two options. Either you can start at X, let me, let me do it that way. So I'm gonna say go to minus 100, minus 100 and problem solved. No, sorry, not problem solved. I know the problem solved, but it's going to start at that point there. And that's why I like to put the grid on. Let's try, let's try, what's six? How many sides are there in, uh, if it's six sided? It's the same shape as a honeycomb. Honeycomb is, a lot of people got pentagon right, hexagon, hexagon, Rowan, I think you were the first one there, well done. So if I type in six and enter, but don't worry about that line, it's just the first line, there goes your hexagon. But the point I want to make is that if I take out that one second, I can put it back in, let me uh, hide and then run it again. Uh, let's try six. Here we go. So uh, it's, it's about you having the freedom to, to do things the way you want to, you're in charge. Right, so let's have a look at uh, doing it something slightly different again. Um, I'm just trying to think what we can have a look at this time. 
you can, for argument's sake, go to your pin. You can go and change the pin color every time you run it through. Uh, let's try that one. Guys, play, put things in. If it that doesn't work, then take it out. So let's try six again. Um, there it produces different colors for each line. It adds the different color. Um, maybe, maybe, maybe. What, do we have, can we take out the arrays all? So if I then say, let's uh, run it again. Let's do a five. Let's do run uh, on a four. Let's run it on a three. And so go and have some fun. Let's try seven is well, seven is a hexagon hep heptagon, I think it is. Right, there's seven. Uh, I'm not sure whether it will do eight. Eight, what's the name? Name for eight? Guys, help me out, please. Eight is a we ever used the word before. What, what octagon? Yes, there we go. So you guys are getting octagon. Well done. Okay, so let's try eight. So I'm gonna run it again. Eight. Uh, there it's going off the screen. If you go to, let's say for example, 10, I just want to, sh I want to hit an error so that you can, you can know what to do. 10 is a, 10 is a, what's the shape of a 10? Decagon, yes, well done. So if I type in 10, you see how it, it, this is not an error in programming, this is an error in the size of the, the screen that you've got. Well done guys, that's uh, looking good. So it's, I think there's time for just, I'm going to go very quickly on this one. I want to be able to use the same thing, uh, but to be able to use key, the keyboard input. Right, so I'm going to take all of this out and I'm going to take that out and take that out. Uh, I'm not going, to, let's put it this way. I'm, I will show you what I'm doing just now. Let me, give me a second just to construct this quickly because what I want to do is to be able to use, let me just run it. Um, I need to also then put my, just go to my clear pin. Um, sorry, not pin. I need to look, is with, I've hit a blank. I want to clear my screen. That is on pin. Uh, to erase all. So you can you can put it at the top there and simply clear, it's gone. Uh, and I'm oh, sorry, I also want to remove that. I don't need to ask questions as to how many sides. You'll see in a moment. So let's run it. Uh, let's put it in there that it can finish off 45. Doesn't matter what that one is. So I need, to, uh, how do I take that off? I put it on by looking at, oh guys, please do not draw on the screen. I'd appreciate your cooperation. Thank you. So there's the number of sides and we've taken that out. Right, right so I'm throw that away. I'm, I don't, what I'm looking for at the moment is it must draw pen size, pen down. Why has it got that? Uh, you can go and solve the problem for that later on. All I want to do is now substitute. I'm not, I don't want that. I wanted to use keyboard input. So we're going to go and have a look at the um, controls. No, not controls. I always do the wrong one there. I'm going to look at that one. So it's the same command. In this case, I'm going to click on the drop down menu and I'm going to say, I want it. When it presses a three on the keyboard, I can press any other key. Uh, sorry, let me go to, to, to clear my screen again so that you can see that it erases all. Right, so when I press any command, Inky doesn't happen. When I press a three, it draws a three triangle. Right, so that one's set to three. Let's just keep these. Oh no, I want to put it over there. I want to throw that one away. And I want to throw that one away. And now, I don't know if I can type this all out again. Right click, duplicate. Right. So now I want to press four. All right, pen size three, I'm gonna leave all that the same. So now I must change, repeat it. Um, let me make a mistake again, because I now want to make it do divide by four. 360 divided by four, 360 divided by four, I'm gonna fingers, ends up as a right angle, 90 degrees, right? So it should be a, a 
a um, square. So this is three, if I press a four. Uh, I was still uh, activating there, so I press a four, and there's the square. And you might want to, let's say, for example, put this one at, in a different position. So you might set it as 100. Let's erase all again. So if I press a four, uh, I'm not too concerned about it. Let's just erase all again. Press a four, uh, press a three. You can sort out why it's doing that. Oh, I know why it's doing it because I need to go to pen up. So when I move, I must put my pen up and then move. I knew there was a command to solve that particular problem. So I've erased all. So now when I press a three and I press a four, oh, but there's a mistake. I haven't drawn. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to ask you how can I fix that, guys? Uh, this will be possibly the lot, one or two more, then I'll, I'll finish off. How can I solve that problem? Please uh, use the chat. Please use the chat and tell me how to. Or Chris, if uh, I'll allow somebody to put raise the hand, and, and Chris, if you can ask them to. That's fine. I'm scrolling through everyone to see if someone does. So raise your hand, unmute yourself, and then uh, talk to me, please. Repeat four times. Change the repeat number to four. Why? Why do you want to change it to four? Yes, you've got to. You've, you've got to change the repeat. Because it's only repeating three times. One, two, three. So change that to a four, right? You're making, guys, what you've just put there is you've made a hypothesis, an educated guess. Now I'm going to go and test it. So by pressing four, there's my square. And one last one um, you can overlap your program by saying right click duplicate so that you can then change this one to, let's say, for example, a five. And we can then, we must remember to change everything else, five and five. And just net for OLAS, what I'm going to do is, is do something different. I'm going to go and look at looks. And I'm going to say, um, so that is a pentagon. And let's go and drag that one. Do there. Oh, I forgot to get rid of my raise all. I don't need to raise all anymore. So this was number four was a square. And number three is a oh sorry, must have, is a triangle. No, I man, that's not gonna work. I need to I need to say it for a period of time. So that was not going to work. I, I don't want it to be persistent. So say hello. So say a triangle. Um, with two seconds, I need to drop that one into there. So that's a square. Um, and the last one is we want to put that one as a pentagon. And what we can then do is three. Uh, we oh, now, of course, I need to get my arrays all out to so that I can see. But they start with a clear one. So if I press a three, why is it not saying triangle? Oh, somebody help me, please help me. Why? Very good reason why. Can somebody help me? Where's the cat? Yes. Where's the cat? Mm. Mm. It's like the cat trying to trying to talk and I can't talk because it's, it's gone, it's hidden away. <laughs> so we need to go to looks and we need, is it looks? We need to uh, show, show the cat, run it, three, there's the triangle. Well done, four, square, and five, uh, five pentagon, all right? Sorry, my dog is just being a little bit silly by the front door. Right, so, that is a, a very quick introduction to coding. And I just want to leave you with the thought of please experiment with this. Let me just shout to do it quickly. Papa. Sorry. Uh, if I can just leave you with the thought that coding is, is about being creative, trying something different. Uh, and I'm, I'm going to, if, if the uh, science expert does go forward with this, the programming section, 
um, that we can look at, at developing stories, educational games, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. The, there's there's a, a huge area that you can go into. Uh, if I go back to, for argument's sake, I will end off here if we, you know, I've, I've changed, I've taken it out already. Um, all right, I'll, I'll pick up on next time we meet. All right, any questions at this stage? I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, if anybody's got any questions, please just raise your hand and then ask them in the chat and then we'll recognize you. I'm just scrolling through the list. Very big group here. Gladys Mabusa's got a question, Doc. Gladys? Gladys, can you unmute yourself, please? Self and pose your question. Uh, I, I, I did not understand anything. Me. I it's now that I understand it, but I don't understand the topic because here you wrote scratch project. What was the topic actual? Is it about the polygons or what? Gladys, what I I needed to to have the second yeah. so that at least I have a uh, a basics to start with because next week when I start getting into for argument's sake the um, the section on um, where is it? the coding, it's all about you understanding that component of the coding, right? Because we can then switch from that uh, level to, to, to C sharp, and it then becomes very difficult to, to, uh, to understand. So what I'm trying to say, today was basically okay. just an introduction. Um, we can look at block and text, um, because for me to go straight into to C++ coding, this is a step I'm trying to lead into that for you, right? So today was, was I did, I'm not trying to achieve anything other than to give you an idea of what's going on. So uh, it's not, you're not to worry too much about uh, what you did, but just to sit back and enjoy and, and see what comes of it, all right? I hope I've answered your question, Gladys. Okay, but yes, was, we did. Thank you. Just, just, Thank you a lot. Is, it's not, it's not, it's not textbook stuff. All right. The next question, please. Um, we've got a raised hand by Kho Sitseli. Sorry, I'm not pronouncing the name right. Kho Sitseli. Afternoon. Afternoon, sir. Afternoon. Um, so I've got a question. So what's the name of the program? The name of the program, uh, I'll put it into the chat. Um, it's called Scratch. Uh, and, and if you want to download it, look for the Scratch 3.0 desktop. Oh, okay, so I'll just put it into the uh, chat so you can pick it up from there. Or alternatively... Okay, so if you look, or if you want to work online, then it, it just search, uh, go to Google uh, yes, and search for Scratch, so that you can you can then work online as I showed you when I started the session. Right, so you got, oh, okay. and alternatively, if you don't want to, you can actually get it on your cell phone, but look in Google Play um, and search for Scratch. JR Junior, right? So the, the Scratch Junior, it's the same principles, but you're not going to have, you're not going to be able to have as much functionality as I've done with what I've worked today. Right? But just, it's the principles. Hey, Doctor, on the next questions by Mercy, Nikki. Uh, Mercy, you can unmute yourself and ask Doctor Ron. To know, sir. So like, um, if we, what we have learned today, basically, it can help us, like, if we want to do IT or, or computer-related work, mm. will it help us? You see, this is, this is just the start, right? This is just the start. I just want to get you to start thinking about uh, possible careers in, in computer programming. Uh, this does, what, what I've done today does not make you a programmer, right? It does not make you a programmer because... The level of programming it requires, 
if you want to go into programming, please do not think about math literacy, right? That you will not be able to get into the top courses related to computer programming. You might be able to do other related IT programs, but if you're serious about coding, then do full mathematics, because that will provide you with the essential information for that, right? Okay, and then I think we're going to have to make this the last question because uh, we've got a few things to wrap up. Right. So, Bev Matris. Bev? Uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, thank you, Doc. Good afternoon. Uh, it's perhaps not a question, but a request uh, for, for the next round, uh, if mm -hmm. we will also be invited. Uh, I really like the time that you arranged this so that uh, those of us that are working till four can also get a chance to come and have uh, access to what you're presenting. So thanks for doing it uh, after four. Thanks, Dr. It wasn't me, by the way. That was uh, the other hooligans. I'm not hooligans, the other people that I work. <laughs> <laughs> thanks very much for oh, that. crazy people. Uh, we appreciate it. It's always difficult to try and find a time that suits everyone. And obviously we can't do that. So we, but through experience, we've decided that four, between four and five seems to work for the majority of people. Um, so there is a question there, is this for school question. learners only? Uh, no, yeah. it's for everyone, for, for young and old, uh, just done a data science, subnet, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I would, somebody would be a mentor, like to think of joining, right? Listen, there's so many opportunities that are available. I have put my, um, my um, email address out there so that you can email me separately if you want. Uh, just make sure you attach a um, hundred red note to your email. I'll be happy to accept those. Um, I, I don't know how you get them into your computer, though. That's another story. Uh, I am busy developing a course in terms of Moodle so that you can then uh, access it, the, the same content, but in a structured way. Um, I've got one for the Science Expo and also for... Um, I'm busy with the one on... Um, Tinkercad and a whole lot of others as well. Anyway, guys, uh, over to Chris. Okay, thanks very, very much again, uh, Dr. Chris. It was really interesting and informative. I know we've got a group of people ranging in skills, so it's always difficult to try and uh, strike the right sort of balance, but I think you managed to do that very well. So thank you for that.